Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. This is your no-nonsense guide to build the Chrysalax Wonder Weapon in Forsaken. It's guaranteed to work every time you play and is pretty easy to do as well. Once I've explained how to build it, I'll also walk you through three or four other methods to get it even more easily, just so you're prepared no matter what to get the Chrysalax in your game super duper early. To start with though, we'll be focusing on building it. Now this is a little bit easier if you start your game with a melee weapon in your loadout, just because towards the end we're going to be getting melee kills, but it's not the end of the world if you don't have one. Another thing that could alternatively make this easier is to make sure that you've upgraded your melee weapons in your skill tiers. There are some really good upgrades in there and they will make this a lot easier if you do this wonder weapon guide in the first, let's say, 13-ish rounds of your game. So they're definitely worth spending some crystals on in my opinion. When you spawn in, go through the normal process to open up all the doors to the pack-a-punch machine and once you get there, press the red button to stop the lockdown and activate pack. If you need more help with this, I've got a detailed video on it that I'll link below, but I'm assuming most people can get to pack and stuff just fine. So once you've turned on pack a punch, you're going to want to go to this second red button in the same room that you were just in and hit that to trigger an Easter egg cutscene. Once you get out of that cutscene, you're going to want to go forwards two rounds. So essentially you need to end the round you're on and then do all of the next round. And then the round after that is the one you want to get to. Once you've made it there, come to Jim's Donut Shop, which is nearby to the Juggernog machine. It's in that first area you teleport to when you initially get out of the spawn. Instead of grabbing a tasty snack from Jim, we're going to be looking for an orange crystal behind his counter. And you'll notice that if you go up to that crystal and start tinkering with it, maybe you hold square, you shoot it a little bit and just sort of sit on top of it like a chicken hibernating an egg, you'll find that lots of special zombies are going to spawn in. So things like mimics are going to be all over the place, play counts, stuff like that. You need to take out all those special zombies. And once you do that, you'll probably get another one or two special waves. So long as you're still sitting on the crystal and kind of in that zone. When you've taken out all the special waves though, you'll end up being able to pick up the crystal and it will be the first of three that we need in this Easter egg in order to build the Chrysalax. The second crystal can be acquired from a Tormentor zombie and there seems to be a sort of specific method that the community has settled on to do this most consistently and it's using a flamethrower. So you can build flamethrowers from crafting benches around the map. It's just going to be a support streak essentially and when you buy one, you're going to wait for a Tormentor to spawn in and then burn it to death. The reason for this is that fire is going to interact with the Tormentor in a special way and out will pop another crystal. And now that's two out of three. For the third crystal, you're going to need an abomination. That's the thing that looks a little bit like a magua crossed with a chicken. They spawn in every four to five rounds. And you can also forcibly spawn them in by doing the big purple crystal steps in the main quest Easter egg. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you probably don't need to worry about it. But I'll link the main quest Easter egg in the description down below anyway, just in case you want to give it a watch. But to keep things simple in this video, just wait for an abomination to spawn and then bring it over to one of the purple ether crystals that will have popped up around the map. Not the really massive ones, but the smaller ones that are in like every single location pretty much. Normally you can destroy those and get like 100 points or maybe a little bit of salvage and they respawn each round. But for this, we're not going to destroy it. We're actually going to let the abomination shoot it with its kind of electric lasers. When that happens, it will destroy it and in its place will be your third and final crystal that you can pick up. Now is the moment of truth and now is also the reason why I mentioned melee weapons at the start of the video. You're going to want to come to this area of the particle accelerator and find a liquid container to place the crystals inside. When you do so, a mixing process will occur and you will need to get 10 melee kills near the crystals to charge them up. If you don't have a melee weapon at this point in the game, don't worry, you can get them out of the box, remember? And if you do pull one from the box, it's pretty likely to do good damage because all the melee weapons in the box are kind of cracked. So that's one option. Another option is just to do this while you have insta-kill. That's obviously going to make your life a lot easier and you won't need to worry about what kind of melee weapon you have. Or you can just continuously knife the zombies until they die and hopefully you're on a low round and it's not actually that bad. Whatever you choose to do, once you've got your 10 melee kills, you'll have finished building the Chrysalax and you'll be able to just pick it right up. But what if I told you that's not actually the easiest method to get the Chrysalax in your game? What you may find actually happens is you start spinning the box to try and get melee weapons just to make those melee kills a little bit easier. But instead of getting a melee weapon, you get the Chrysalax itself. It's possible you don't have to build it once before it appears in the box. It's a little different to how previous Easter eggs have worked with these sorts of wonder weapons. So you can pull it right away. Also, multiple people in your game can pull it. So if, for example, your friend has the Chrysalax and also has a bunch of points, right? They could buy a wall weapon to swap the Chrysalax for so that you can grab the Chrysalax and then they could just burn all of their points on the box and try and pull another one. And this method actually applies to the third possible way to get the Chrysalax for free, which is the Trials Machine. Surprise, surprise, the Trials Machine is next to the Pack-a-Punch in the Observation Tower. And if you activate several trials in a row and keep working up to a legendary reward, one of the things you may end up being given 
one is the Chrysalax. And you might think this is really uncommon, but I promise you it's actually not. It's a fairly common weapon in this map to get from Trials. So I highly recommend this method. I think that this is one of the easiest ways to get it. You almost don't have to think about it. You just need to do maybe four Trials or so. At maximum, that's going to cost you maybe 3,000, 4,000 points. And you won't only get the Chrysalax when you get the reward as well. You'll also get a bunch of Salvage. You'll also potentially get points back. Like, there's lots of reasons to do the Trials regardless. And the same thing I mentioned before about how a friend could get it as a reward and then just give it to you still applies. So work with your teammates here, help your friends out, and I'm sure they'll return the favor in the future. But there are still more ways to get the Chrysalax for free. Another really good one, and one that also has kind of tangential benefits, similar to the Trials Machine, is by doing stuff in the arcade. To play arcade games, you need an arcade token, and these can be dropped by zombies just while you're playing the map. They're fairly common, but you can only hold one at a time. Or you can buy them from the arcade for 10 grand, which I know sounds like a ripoff, but I'm going to give you a trick here to rip the arcade off instead. If you go up to the arcade token purchase machine and you knife it, you'll just get a free token then and there. And so combined with free tokens that you'll get from zombies that you kill, you can almost without thinking get like three or four chances within the first 15 rounds of your game at these arcade games. And the reason that's important is that the Der Eisendrache one has a really good reward. It's not very difficult. You just got to fill up the dragon rocket by getting kills within the ring of fire. And once you've got enough kills, the dragon will be full. It'll give you a little smiley face indicator and it will blast off revealing a crate underneath. Now this crate has a pretty good chance, especially if you get a bunch of kills for the dragon, to be a gold crate. And that's what we're working towards here. That's what we want to see because gold crates will A, give you free perks a lot of the time, B, give you a bunch of salvage and points and things like that, and C, often give you legendary and wonder weapons, including, you guessed it, the Chrysalax. So with all that said, you've got several viable options to get the Chrysalax really easily. But what you may not know are a couple of pro tips just to make sure that you're using it as effectively as possible when you do end up with it in your hands. One is that the axe form of the Chrysalax actually leeches health and armor from zombies. So if you're ever super low, you can pull that thing out and it might save your life in a pinch. Another tip is let's say the gun form is out of ammo. By the way, you switch forms by pressing B on your keyboard or up on your D-pad. So the gun's out of ammo and you're thinking of just going and buying ammo from an ammo crate. In situations like this, you should always swap to the other version of the weapon. So from gun, we're going to switch to axe and make sure you've used up all its energy blade charges. There are two reasons for this. One is that when you use the axe variant, you can end up getting ammo for the gun in crystal drops on the floor and vice versa. And so by using those energy blades, you might end up getting gun ammo just for free. And two, when you buy ammo, it actually refreshes the ammo on both types of the weapon. So you'll get all your energy blades back and all of your gun ammo back. So if you want to get the most bang for your buck, you should use all the stuff that you've got before you buy more. Anyway, that wraps up my no-nonsense guide to getting the Chrysalax. There's a bunch of methods here and hopefully some useful tips for you. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. And also, I recommend recommend you check out my main quest easter egg guide because it would be a shame to play Forsaken and not finish the easter egg, right? Like it's the culmination of Cold War Zombies, you might as well get it done. Thanks folks, I'll see you next time, bye for now.